British Columbia's beauty and vast talent pool has attracted thousands of film and TV productions to come and shoot here. However, many are concerned that Hollywood North's future could be in danger of fading to black. Let's start the free talk. Hi, I'm Alison Riley, and you're watching Free Talk, the show where we discuss current events and issues that are important to British Columbians. The BC film industry employs over 25,000 people, and since the government introduced the film tax incentives, it has put over $14.3 billion back into the BC economy. However, since Ontario and Quebec began to offer increasingly competitive tax incentives, many are concerned that BC film could be left out in the cold. We wanted to learn more, so we went to a Save BC Film town hall meeting at the Act Theatre in Maple Ridge, where industry officials and politicians spoke out on the issue. And what's happening is without the government's help to help us sustain a level playing field with Ontario and Quebec, we're going to be unable to sustain our industry. And if you lose this industry, you're losing $1.1 billion of infrastructure that supports our industry. And I mean, that'll end up that the people like Bosa, who owns North Shore Studios and also uh, own Mammoth, are going to end up tearing those buildings down or doing something else with them or turning them into condos or real retail. I mean, and that's going to be an industry now that has been completely lost. Now, why should the average person who's not involved in the film industry, who lives in BC, uh, be concerned? Well, I think the, the bottom line, I think, is if you don't have an industry like ours, you're not going to help the economy. And if our economy starts to falter any worse than it is, we already know that BC's in trouble overall. And if, we, if you just throw away a $1.1 billion industry, it's going to hurt the economy all around. You're going to hurt businesses. I mean, I got an email tonight and yesterday from two different businesses that are just support industries that are saying they're pleading for help. They said, what can we do? Because I'm three months behind in my rent for the facility for 30,000 square feet. I can't afford to pay rent anymore so I can stay in this business. And I've been in the business 35 years. I can't help them. I've been, I've been unemployed since October. And I'm, I've got a resume that's 22 pages long. I mean, I've done major films. So it's not just me, it's the pros that have been in the business, it's the young people coming out of school. We've got 24 facilities right now training kids to become actors, technicians, everything across the board. And they're gonna come out and they have nowhere to go. Tell me a bit about why you decided to come out here today and support a BC film. Well, the film industry is really important for Maple Ridge. It's really important for BC. And uh, I'm here to hear from my constituents, to work for them, and to represent them. And so that's it's an education, and I'm here for them. And so to bring that forward, so I'm here tonight. Did you learn anything new from the speakers here today at all, or? Well, you're hearing people's stories. You're hearing people's lives, and that's it's not just uh, numbers. And a lot of times we're looking at numbers, but it's people's lives. It's they're uh, paying their mortgages. It is, uh, you know paying their medical costs, and, and, and so those things are very, very important, and so that, that's, that, that, that brings out emotions. You know, we don't have a lot of industry in our town. We rely on different industries. I mean, this is one that we see again and again and again. It's, I mean, it's hilarious when there's a Christmas movie being shot in the middle of summer, and I've seen that again and again and again. And, and you know, you get the sense that this is a vibrant industry, that there's a lot going on. We don't have a lot else. Our, our lumber mills have shut down. You know, we don't have a, you know, a, a manufacturing sector of, uh, you know, to speak of. So an industry like this is really interesting to me as a politician because we want jobs where people live. Live, you know. What would be some reasons for the government not to support tax incentives for the BC film industry? No, they have. We have supportive, uh, uh, ta you know, the um, credits and and uh, helping the industry. It's it's been a tradition. So it's just a matter right now of we've made a commitment as far as a balanced budget because if we go further and further in debt, then we don't have. We're basically borrowing from the from the future. So we want to make sure our own finances are in order. And so that was that's that's an important factor, and a lot of times you know this has been more of a recent thing. Some of the changes uh, that we've seen in other jurisdictions, even Ontario, some of how they have increased the, the credits. So you know to react, you know things sometimes don't react well uh, within within months. But we you know we do respond. We are working with the industry. And I know that the minister has 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 told me personally that everything's on the table. Whether it is uh, the uh, manufacturer sales tax, whether it's raising the credits, everything's on the the on the table. We're looking at that. 
Why do you think the BC government is so reluctant to match other tax incentives in, say, Quebec or Ontario? Well, the BC government, and in, in any government, I mean, their mandate is to have a balanced budget, and they do have to report to the people of the province. And, you know, yes, we're in the creative industries, we're 85,000 jobs. They need to spend their money, money as fiscally responsible. Uh, in, and sustain, they, I mean, don't get me wrong, they've been supportive of this industry and as Mark Dalton said tonight, a friend of the industry for many years. But they are choosing to put their money elsewhere right now and that money is into liquid natural gas and into, into supporting companies to come in here and dig more holes in the ground on the hopes of finding liquid natural gas that they can then sell. We have a $1.2 billion industry on average. It's been sustainable or has been running here for the past 20 plus years we would be hoping that they would you know continue to look at an industry that's proven itself and has room to grow but they're just choosing to spend their money elsewhere now you mentioned that the liberal government has been supportive of the industry at this point in time what sort of letter grade would you give them from an a to an f as far as support and and the work they've done for the film industry currently uh, i would have to give them a pretty big c minus or a d Again, they have the industry here, we have the private sector that's invested in the infrastructure, we have the crews, we have the locations, we have the time zone, we have all of it. They just don't care to look at it right now and they're, they're not quantifying the overall economic impact of our entire industry in this province. How optimistic are you about the future of BC Film? I would, that's a twofold answer. One, I want to publicly say that I'm incredibly optimistic and it's going to be great deep down inside, knowing what I know of the industry, I've been in it for 23 years, and in the conversations that have happened with the current government, as well as the NDP, and knowing what I know about the competition from other areas, it's not, it's not favorable. It's, it's not, we're not positioning ourselves to be in a long term, as somebody said tonight, they want to you know, see a 10 year plan. I don't see us having a, a solid foundation for a 10 year plan. Well, how optimistic are you uh, for the future of BC Film? I'm always optimistic for the future of BC Film. I have to be. It pays my bills and my mortgage and my rent. Are you optimistic about uh, future support of the film industry? Well, the BC Liberals have been very supportive. We, uh, in the past, since we've been in government, three times we've raised up the tax credits. Uh, once from 11 to 14, then 14 to uh, 25 or 18 to 25, and then last time to 33 percent. So we've been very um, uh, responsive to that. Also in uh, visual arts, we've actually it's over 50 percent. So the, the, the film industry, we had actually a very good relationship. Uh, we've Ontario has has. Uh, you know, they're our competition right now and they've, they've really ra raised the stakes. It's, so we're going to do everything we can. You know, so we don't have to, we don't have to, you know, race to the bottom. Like, who's going to provide the biggest subsidies? Who's going to, because, because there'll always, there'll always be somebody that's willing to take a bigger discount. So I think we need to be competitive for sure. But I think we also need to, to concentrate to sell, uh, the value that we have in the province. Again, the natural beauty, the time zone, the great people. Um, we, we heard tonight about uh, you know, people that have gone out and, and, and invested you know, mil billion, millions and millions of dollars. So we've got the infrastructure there, we've got the equipment, purpose-built trucks, whatever. So I think uh, the government needs to be aware that, that, that this is a you know, billion dollar industry plus in, in, in the province and, uh, and recognize that, that it's then we need to keep it. We need to somehow figure out a way to keep it. Here at Free Talk, we want to hear what you think. So like us on Facebook or you can find us on Twitter at Free Talk TV. You can also find me at Allison Riley 8. Thanks for watching Free Talk. I'm Allison Riley.